Gears. The people living on Lamar Street say a pothole that has once gone that was once gone has now mysteriously reappeared, but the city says it's no mystery at all. Listen, I know my people are there on the Bark Street. Traffic anchor Brady B. Harris spoke with the people in that area about this recurring problem. A spooky sight and bone chilling sound every day. Cars, trucks, even buses hitting potholes so big they make houses shake. Now the damage here near the intersection of Nunez and Lamarck Street is so bad that NOMTOC had to change their parade route. Officials say they're aware. The Sewage and Water Board says they're working on it, but the community says they're fed up. In Algiers, just next to a cemetery, a very frightening roadway. We got this bus. Every time this bus comes, it shakes the house. The RTA passes every half an hour, 365 days out the year. In the middle of the night, they're flying through here. So I'm waking up at 1 in the morning, and I can't go back to bed to about 6 or 7 in the morning. Potholes as big as burial plots. And the neighbors here on Lamarck Street, where they tell me when a car hits those potholes, it's so loud it could wake the dead. Now, the city of New Orleans says they're completely aware of the issues here and that repairs are on the way. The Sewage and Water Board says crews discovered a break in the 8-inch sewer main on October 13th. They say repairs have been made and there's a work order in to repave a five by eight area concrete panel. If we was in another neighborhood, this would have been fixed. And that's what we mostly upset about because we pay our tax just like everyone else. But the problem has become more than commute and safety issues. It's also become a parade issue after the crew of Jugs was forced to reroute Namtak. I'm sure the community will love it. I'm sure the, uh, the, the Jugs will love it. So hopefully we can get that parade back on its, on its usual route. Although officials say a fix is on the way, the community says they're still waiting. RTA say the wheels turn slow. They're not turning at all on our street. Brandy B. Harris, WDSU News. And we talked to the president of the Jugs Social Aid and Pleasure Club that puts on the Namtop Parade. He says it's not only a safety problem for vehicles, but also for bands and performers. He says if the roadway were totally fixed, Namtop would consider taking that route once again. The RTA also sent us this statement saying that their team is actively investigating the condition on Lamarck Street and will assess any immediate need for temporary adjustments. You can read that full statement right now by going to our website at WDSU.com.